Have you ever left a meeting or presentation feeling like something was missing? You delivered your message, engaged your audience, but the outcome wasn't what you expected. Why? Because you didn't tell your audience what to do next. How many presentations have you listened to when the speaker ended the presentation with, um, well, uh, that's the end of my presentation. Uh, are there any questions? It happens all the time. and Maybe you have done this also. This video will show you a much better way to finish your presentation or meeting. Welcome to part five of my AIM to series, where I dive into the do. The D in AIMED stands for do. What do you want your audience to do? This is the one thing most presenters never include, but absolutely need to. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Grant, and I'm a business English confidence coach. I created this AIMED framework so that my clients would have a way to communicate confidently for presentations, for meetings, and just to improve your overall communication skills. And this framework works really great. In our journey so far, I've covered the essentials of effective communication with the first four parts of my AIMED framework. I started with A, and understanding who your audience is and how to relate to them. Then I emphasize the I, that it's not about I, 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 it's about serving your audience. Next, I discuss the M and AIMED is about crafting the right message your audience needs or wants. And following that, I explored the E in AIMED and showed how it is about how to get your audience to feel the right emotion to make your message more memorable. Now, it's time to talk about the final piece of the puzzle, the do. Think of it as a call to action or a CTA in digital marketing. It's a pivotal moment where you guide your audience to take action. This is the one thing most presenters miss but it's crucial for driving results. Whether it's closing a deal, signing up for a newsletter, or simply thinking differently, your do is what drives results. A big part of great communication is the do, as it makes something happen. The purpose of a presentation is to serve your audience with information they need and want. This is why it's so important to ask your audience to do something with the information you shared. To really benefit from good information, people need to use the information and do something with it. The final step in my AIMED framework completes the circle and gets your audience to take action and do something with all this useful information that they need or want. All of us have used social media, and we have experienced social media marketing. You'll see some interesting comparisons between my AIMED framework and social media marketing. Social media marketing targets their audience. They make the marketing all about the potential customer. They have a message that helps solve a problem for the customer by giving them something they need or want. They give some feeling in their marketing and they get the customer to feel emotion. And finally, they ask the audience to do something to become a customer. Social media marketing works amazingly well because of this process. Do you see how it is almost exactly the same? as my aimed framework. In social media marketing, they always ask the audience to do something, always. 
Click here, download this, do this. Here's an example of using the D in my aimed framework to get your audience to do something. This is an example of a sales presentation. The audience is made up of potential clients who are decision makers and medium to large businesses. The message is, our new software solution can streamline your company's operations, reducing overhead costs and increasing efficiency. The emotion is to have the audience feel confidence in making a smart business decision. Asking your audience to do would be to see firsthand how this software can benefit your company. Schedule a free demo with us today. Visit our website or contact our sales team to book your demo now. That's the do. Let's look at another example. Here's an example of using the D in my framework to get your audience to do something. This example is of a team meeting. The audience is internal members that are responsible for customer service within the team. The message is that we need to improve our customer service response times to enhance client satisfaction and retention. The emotion is to have the audience feel motivation to excel and take pride in their work. You'd be asking your audience to do. Please review the new customer service protocols I've emailed to everyone. Let's implement these changes starting next Monday, and I'll follow up with each of you individually to discuss any questions or concerns. I hope you see how all of those work together very nicely. Now, let's look at tips for creating a powerful do statement. Be clear and specific. Use strong, action-oriented language. Align with the audience's needs and emotions. And ensure that it is relevant and timely. Here's an example of a do statement that follows this framework. Schedule a free demo with us today to see firsthand how our software can transform your operations. Visit our website or call our sales team now to book your demo and start saving time and money. And here is another example. Approve the budget and strategy for our marketing campaign by Friday to kickstart our efforts next week. Review the proposal I've shared and provide your feedback to ensure we hit the ground running. To wrap up, remember that every effective communication ends with a powerful do. It's not just about what you say, but what you inspire your audience to do next. This is the one element that most presenters overlook but it can make all the difference in achieving your desired outcomes. Reflect on your past presentations and think about how could you have used a stronger do to make those presentations more effective. Stay tuned for the final video in my AIMED series, where I'll bring everything together to help you master your business communication. Please leave me a comment below because I want to know, <laughs> do you ever finish your presentations or meetings with do statements? If so, please share what works best for you. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your Business English Confidence Score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.